Okay, everyone. How you doing? Um, this is Jordan coming to you. Um, I haven't been on YouTube in a little while posting videos like I used to. Um, been working, haven't had no running grounds really. Um, having a lot of trouble with the dogs. Uh, I lost a female on um, Wednesday. She had been up in my standing pen, my Wilkin pen, with one of my females. And she, I ended up having to put her back on the ground in the big pen. She tried climbing out um, Tuesday night sometime, and she got hung up. Um, I got wire across the top, and you know, under the bottom where she can't dig, and across the top where she can't climb out. But she figured a way where she could get her head um, by the door and the main frame of the pen. Um, and she actually got her head stuck in it. She slid down. Um, and actually got hung up and was killed um, like that. So I found her hanging, you know, by her head uh, Wednesday morning. Um, I have been separating my females. Um, I've been working with the puppies, getting all of them trained. Um, Sadie came up pregnant. Um, incidentally, don't know which one of my males between Beast or Buddy the um, sire was, the dad's the pups. Um, never got to figure it out because as soon as I saw she was in heat, I separated her. And sometime <laughs> before that, she had already connected, basically, um, and bred with one of the males. Um, her first breeding, her first time ever coming in the heat. She's, old, she's over a year and a half now, a year and five months. Well, a year and eight months. September, she'll be um, two years old. So, yeah, a year and six months. So, um, I had her separated in the stand-up pen. Uh, like I said, unexpected pups. Um, she had them Friday. Uh, today is now Tuesday morning. Uh, she had them Friday morning sometime before I was supposed to go to work um, on night shifts. And a couple were stillborn. Um, four of the six were stillborn. Um, two lived for a few days. One perished um, Sunday. And I found the last one this morning dead. Um, it died sometime last night. Uh, she had them almost a week and a half early. Uh, their nose, their whole face, um, their legs on the pink, where it's supposed to be pink, you know, soft spots on puppies, where it was supposed to be a bright pink, it was real dark, bloody red. So I know the pups were early. Um, right now I have a breeding I wanted to tell you guys about, um, let you know some stuff I've been up to with the pups. Um, I don't know how good you guys can hear me. I'm on my GoPro. Um, but I have three pups. Justice, Maggie, and Chief. Um, Justice and Maggie were a Judge and Leah combination. Uh, it was a breeding I had last year. Um, these folks are now almost 11 months old, and Maggie completed her training. Um, she'll jump a rabbit and she'll run a rabbit. Um, you know, she's still puppy, so she's not experienced to keep the track going yet. Um, she does not like to pack. Uh, she likes to run and jump by herself solo. But if the dogs get a jump, she screams and goes towards them, follows them. But once she loses interest, she goes back to doing what she was doing. Um, Chief is completed his training. Um, Maggie took a whole month. She was in the training pen a whole month. And she was actually there almost three weeks before she finally figured out what she was supposed to be doing, the concept of using her nose. She would find the rabbit with her nose in a brush pile and jump it. Um, but that was it. Once she lost sight of it, that was it. She wouldn't use her nose or nothing. She'd go to another brush pile, jump another rabbit, and keep it going. Um, so, 
So, Chief is a was a completely different story. Um, I took him last week, or a week before last, two weeks ago almost, and it wasn't even two days later the guy called me and said, he's finished, you can come pick him up. Um, I got there and he was circling rabbits like it was nothing. Um, I guess this is blood life. Uh, Cause he hadn't been on a wild rabbit with me eating. Um, and before he had been there, he hadn't ever smelled a wild rabbit. Um, so he had only had one experience with a rabbit. That was the first time I took him to that pen the day I dropped Maggie off. Uh, Cause I wanted to do the pup for my one, you know, give him time not just to stick with each other, but try and go with other dogs. It didn't work with Maggie. Chief, he was running with a derby mail. Um, his last day there, the guy ran him with a derby mail that was trialing, trialing this year in derby trials. It's actually going pretty good. He uh, finished third, um, his first trial this year, and I think he placed MBQ the second. Um, it was either second, MBQ or fourth, anyway. Uh, so Chief was running with him like he was experienced and had to run him for months. Um, so I went and picked Chief up and I dropped Justice off. Um, Justice has been there a week now. I need to call a guy and find out what's going on with him. Um, he's, he's just lazy. Um, that's what's wrong with that folks. That's his problem. Uh, he don't want to pay attention. So he's, well, he's already going to be for sale anyway. Um, I have a guy who's promised to in Raleigh, North Carolina, but um, if he don't want him, uh, I'm just going to get rid of him as cheap as I can, because I really didn't want to keep him in the first place, but the guy told me if I kept him, he'd definitely refute it, if I trained him or not, but you know how some things pop up and people change their mind on a clip. Uh, the guy seems pretty cool, so everything should work out. Um, Okay, I wanted to officially, through YouTube, introduce um, uh, only three registered dogs right now. Um, Chief, Mag, uh, Rosie, and Buddy. Um, and I brought out my pedigree book to uh, give some insight on the breeding of these three dogs. Um, so first, I want to start with Rosie. Um, I'm gonna go. uh, this here is Rosie. Um, she's bred directly from uh, Field Champion Hillcrest Sport and Field Champion Boone Creek PT Cruiser. Um, Blood goes right back to Hillcrest T-Bone on um, Shorts Pro on bottom, um, Hillcrest Bear, uh, field, uh, field Champion Rob's Diamond 2. So she's, let's see, in her immediate um, bloodline, she has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, um, 7 Field Champions. Um, I picked this female up as a, tr as a trade from or Judge. Um, if you can remember Judge, you can go back through some of my videos and catch a sneak peek of him. Um, he was a bigger male, faster than what I liked. Um, very chop mouth, but he became something excellent for the guy who has him now. He's, um, he basically is a field trial dog and he has won several um, trials since he had him since last year. Uh, let me take that back. I think it was over the spring, not even a year ago maybe eight to nine months ago that I received Rosie and handed off George. Um, if I can get her to stand up, I'll show you that right now she is pregnant. Uh, she don't want to cooperate right now, but as you can see, if you can tell, she is pregnant. Um, a few weeks, um, her belly's, you know, she's low. 
so she's kind of old. She's six years old, about to be seven. So she doesn't have. This is probably be her last breeding, successful or not. Um, so for sure, she is a good contestant for shorts pro or shorts bloodline um, completely in my channel. Um, I wanted to keep this blood um, from her. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to keep it going. She's a good dog. And she has amazing, just pure amazing um, line control. Uh, she's one of the best I've ever had. She probably is the best dog I've ever had in my kennel. Um, I found no fault in her uh, in the field wise. Um, she runs with any dog I've, ever, I've put her with so far. Circles the rabbit by herself, no problem, line control, speed, everything is just right. Um, quick out of the check, no scratches, no longer than two minutes. Um, if other dogs lose her, she usually has, uh, like I said, she's, um, she should be, um, yesterday actually was her birthday, uh, March 23rd. So, yeah, she just turned seven yesterday. So, the girl's getting old. Um, like I said, I just, this is my first, first year complete with her. It's not even been a whole year yet. And she's proven herself to me from day one. Um, I, like I said, no complaints from her at all. Uh, I'm hoping this breeding does well. Um, like I said, she's kind of old. There's no kind of to it. She has some age on her, and I'm hoping that doesn't affect her um, during this gestation procedure process. Um, I'm hoping everything goes smooth and it doesn't hurt her. Um, if this is successful or a failure, um, this will be her last breeding. I just wanted to try and get at least one pup out of it. Um, even if I don't get them but two or three pups, um, I want one female for myself. Um, I know old girl here is not going to last forever, and I want something, you know, out of her and Buddy together. Um, he's a young male himself, so um, I just, you know, I, want, I wanted to keep that short blood in my skin. Um, even though I had it with Chief, I wanted a female, and she's exactly everything I ever looked for when it comes to a beagle. Um, I had a female um, before I started making videos. We called her Old Mama. I mean, she was very old, older than this female here. So she was about eight or nine, and she was still having pups. Um, no problem, perfect dog. Uh, she was actually hit on the road a couple years ago, about four or five years ago, four probably. Um, and I had to rebuild my kennel from that, and that's when I went and picked up Leah. Uh, and, you know, like I said, Leah just passed Wednesday or Tuesday night sometime. Um, but that's enough on Rosie. Um, her name is Scallions Red Rose. Uh, like I said, her sire was Field Crest Champion. Uh, well, Field Champion, Hill Crest Sport. Um, her dame was field champion, Boone Creek PT Cruiser. So, I expect good things out of this breed. Um, I'll let you guys know more about her later. Um, and I'll progress as her pregnancy goes on along. And I'll keep you up to date with that. So, enough of Rosie. Um, let's go to my next buddy. Buddy. 
to everybody uh -huh. say hey to Buddy. Um, his name is Double J's Sandy Hook Buddy Boy. Um, he was born February 13th of 2014, so he is a year old now. A year, a month and a half. Um, he's a rabbit machine. Um, he was running at seven and a half months old. Come here, boy. Come on. He was from the camera. Um, I posted pictures of him in video before. Come on. Um, as you can see, he's he's still feisty. He's still a, he's got a lot of poke in him. Um, I won't be able to keep him up here. I'm gonna have to put him back in the box because he's gonna take off and go. Um, but a little bit about about his breeding. Give me a second, you guys. Breeding comes straight from GW's Little River Black Earl, and his name is Bent Pine Southern Emma. Um, on bottom, his uh, grandsire is Field Champion Rapid Run Little Caddy, and his grandsire on top is Field Champion McClam's Clyde. Um, takes, still goes back to Field Crest, um, Field Crest T Bone um, Field Champion, and. He has five field champions in his immediate um, pedigree. And guys, when I say immediate pedigree, I say to, I mean just to the third generation. Um, third to the fourth generation is the breeding. Um, that's what I mean when it comes to immediate. The standard when it comes to AKC paperwork. Um, so, he's a good dog. He's a step quicker than Rosie. Um, most dogs in my kennel, except Chief, do have a step um, that is quicker than Rosie. Um, but he has great line control. On Wednesday, I took them out. You know, after everything I found out with Leah, um, I took him to a running pen, and they got on a marsh rabbit. I thought it was a squirrel when it ran across the trail, but it was a marsh rabbit. And um, him and Rosie, they had him. I mean, nose for nose the whole time, right beside each other. Um, he was keeping up with her, and she was keeping up with him. It was a back and forth thing. They weren't fighting each other for the line. They were, you know, like I said, nose and nose with. Um, the rabbit is. It, Wednesday was a bad scent condition here. Um, I don't know if it was the uh, biometric pressure, um, but it just wasn't a good day for running beagles at all. Um, you know, it was a bad day when. Beast would smell the rabbit and 40 yards, 30 yards, he'd be losing it already. Um, 18 minutes in, guys. Um, he's, you know, he's good. He's pretty quick. Quick footing. Um, no complaints with him at all. Uh, he's, he's just like Rosie right now. Um, both of them have aggression issues when it comes to food. Um, trying to break that, uh, but it's, I'm going to have to go get a shot collar, I've found that out now, um, so moving on before, you know, my phone decides it wants to go ballistic and die on me with 15% left, um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to Chief, um, and I'll get to this in a second, come on Chief, Chief. Here is Chief. Come on. Um, good little stance right there. Um, his breeding is his sire is Crafts Cocoa Bear, and his dame is Dueling Grounds Briarland Patty. Um, this is the pup I received from Sean and uh, Chad Richards. Um, they hooked me up. Um, uh, 
uh, they hooked me up with this. Um, him, uh, the guy, Justin Thomas, who bred these dogs, or at least had the litter. Um, they got me in contact with him. Um, I ended up naming him Native Pride's Chief Mangus Colorados. Uh, reason being, I wanted to keep uh, you know, the native theme, um, at least with a few of my dogs. Uh, him in particular, you know, being my first registered pup I had, I wanted to get something started with him and see how it goes from there. Um, I probably will change Buddy's name and add Native Prides to it uh, and change it up, but still call him Buddy. Rosie, I'm going to leave hers. Um, I don't know how long she'll live, and I know I'm going to put that money in her and, you know, something happen. Um, I still have to pay for it, so that's a good thing. Um, Chief, I do not have his full paperwork yet. I've been waiting for him to prove himself to me, and Wednesday he definitely did. Um, like I said, he circled a rabbit a few times um, that morning um, while there was still good moisture on the ground. He circled a rabbit. Uh, but once the sun started coming up around noon, it was it all went to the hills. Um, Sitting where were a hill of beans. Uh, but he did good. Um, he definitely earned his paperwork. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and get all that ordered and completed. Um, I filled out everything. Uh, and everything will be done soon. Uh, like I said, I'll probably be doing it the next month. So keep in touch. Um, now, about his brother, um, Chief. Uh, his brother. Um, I also picked him up from Georgia, but there's a guy who had done gave me the money to send to the owner of the litter um, to purchase his brother. Um, the guy ended up going to buy six pup or five puppies from another kennel in North Carolina, and you know, they were top notch, top notch dogs, but they're uh, a step or two faster than Chief and his brother. So instead of getting rid of all those other dogs, he told me he just wanted to get rid of Coop, um, which is Chief's brother. So there's nothing wrong with him. I watched the dog. He runs just like Chief, slow, steady on the line, good, great line control, beautiful mouth, and there's no no problems. Um, he was started a little bit ahead of Chief. Uh, the guy actually has more time. His dad actually would take his dogs out and run them for him with other people's uh, pack. And that's how his dogs got started a few months before mine. Uh, probably a little bit earlier than that. But he's already running and he's going to give me a deal and hook me up. And I'm getting ready to move out in two weeks. So I can't purchase him right now. Um, he told me he'll hold on. He'll be, he will hold on to him for me. And I will be able to purchase him soon. Um, so as far as the kennel is going. Right now everything's good. Um, no problems with nothing. Um, so looking forward to a new edition. Uh, you guys stay tuned. I will keep you in touch with Rosie and her progression through this process of you know, her pregnancy and let you guys know everything. Um, if she has a good amount of pups, I will post them on here, uh, YouTube, and on rabbithunters.net uh, deep south rabbit hunters um, for Sean and he'll let him spread the word for me um, if you like line control I think this will be a good breeding uh, like I said both dogs for me work great I really haven't had been able to video them much when we go because they'd be so far off it's, the water here has just been ridiculous everywhere I go running pins are no different um, everything's flooding so running has been for crap uh but i will keep all of you in touch with everything i'm going to be going through in the next few weeks with rosie's pregnancy um purchase of chief's brother finishing chief off solo wise when it comes to running um uh, and let you know whenever i'm interested in adding to the kennel since i lost leah i lost a big pack big part of my control in my line so she's been my main staple for line control for the last few years 
and I definitely need another good female to um, add to the group of young female that's registered, um, preferably, you know, short blood also. So I will keep you in touch when I purchase, well, as the purchases of these dogs go on and the breed. Um, so until all of this is said and done, uh, Thank you all for watching our 25 minutes worth of video. Um, it should be pretty doggone good. Um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your attendance and audience. Um, thank you for <laughs> these minutes of introducing, you know, my real time introduction for these three, do three dogs. Um, so stay tuned and I will keep you all posted. Um, thanks for watching.